you already know. Mario Kart 8 has been out for almost a decade now. And with the booster course pass flying down on the sixth wave of DLC, it's about time to start talking about what we could see in a, in a sequel. Mario Kart 9 or Mario Kart X. So first off, what would the main draw of the game be? I think if we're working under the assumption that the Switch 2 or the next Nintendo console will be backwards compatible, then Mario Kart 8 as an experience, all of the content included with it and the booster course pass will already be on that console. So we have no chance of pulling a Smash Ultimate. We can't just say, all right, well, Mario Kart 9 is the biggest Mario Kart of all time. Have fun, go crazy. They can't do that shit. So what do we do? First of all, I think what we should do is have a Mario Kart game with just all new tracks. That's 48 in total. It's the same amount that's included in the base version of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I think it's a large ask to make 48 new tracks, but you gotta consider Mario Kart is the best selling game on the Switch. It's a big thing. It's a really big thing. This is not supplemental. This is one of the big boys for a console. So I think you go all out. I think you just make 48 entirely new tracks. Now, these tracks should be pretty unique to each other. I think they should pull from some of Mario's more recent like catalog of games. Uh, the fact that there's no like Odyssey Cup or like Mario Odyssey stage, any of the countless worlds you go through in that game is fucking insane. And you can get other things in there too, like Mar Place for Mario RPG, which is coming out now, or something similar to the Mario movie, you know? But beyond all of that, this game needs to utilize its gimmick well in every single track. A past problem all of Mario Kart games are running into is incorporating that new feature or gimmick into the returning stages. It's hard to find that balance between adding new stuff to heighten the experience of the old track and then understanding what you need to bring back, what you have to keep to not alienate the fans of that track that want to see that track in HD or just in the new game in general. And so to avoid that problem, this game simply just won't have returning stages. You already have all the returning stages you need in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. What else do you need? Now, on that topic about the gimmick, what the fuck is it? Frankly, I don't know. It could be anything. Personally, I think I'd be okay if they wanted to pull something from like Sonic All-Stars Racing Transformed and have them turn into like actual jet planes or boats. So now you can actually race in the air instead of gliding and actually race on the water instead of under. Um, and that would be heightened by bringing back the gimmicks from Mario Kart 8, anti-grav, gliding, and underwater racing. I think having all of those in one game would be pretty cool and unique regardless this game this whatever this game's gimmick should be you should be experiencing something new every single time you play on a different track you know all right i'm leaning a little bit closer because this is the big one the character selection it's one of the most important parts of any mario kart game and it was influence on who will be the most popular and well-known mario characters for the upcoming years i think the best route is to take it in a more focused and organized manner Similar to what Mario Kart 8 did in its base roster, but expand on it a bit to make sure we're including lesser known parts of the franchise and more recent characters. That way we're not getting like all of the Koopalings in there. Who the fuck cares? However, that does mean there are going to be a lot of cuts from 8's final roster. If we go in them on, in order, the characters I most want to see and I think would make for the most like focused roster would be Mario, Luigi, Peach, Daisy, Rosalina, Pauline, Toad, Egad, Bowser, Bowser Jr., Kamek, Koopa Troopa, Wiggler, King Boo, King Bob-omb, PD Piranha, Wario, Waluigi, Yoshi, Poochie, Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, King K. Rule, Wart, Gino, Mallow, Baby Mario, Baby Luigi, Fawful, and finally, the Miis. They're great. This doesn't entirely cut down on the current roster. Like, I think we're within like 10 of the current Mario Kart 8 final roster. But it does make it so Mar more Mario series are represented. And on top of that, lesser known characters are actually given the chance to shine. And they will be more well known by children and anybody who plays the game. People won't be going, is it, you know, that guy who keeps getting fucking rejected from Smash? They'll be like, Gino's a motherfucking Mario Kart! On top of this roster, I want to add costumes in. Costumes is one of the biggest part of Mario Kart Tour, and I don't see why it shouldn't be included, even in Mario Kart 8 at this point. But especially in Mario Kart 9 or X, whatever the fuck it's called, it needs to have costumes. We know Nintendo loves having ways for players to express themselves, and so bringing in costumes 
can add more content for single player and then in turn add more content for online and keep players playing if we offer costumes through like mission mode or completing a gp with a certain character or completing all of the gps to give you like gold mario that gives incentive for players to keep playing mario can become gold mario metal mario donkey kong can become funky kong bowser jr can become all the koopalings we have a lot of options here for bringing in other characters that aren't part of the roster and for giving incentives to keep playing all right we're going on to modes i think we only add one new mode and this is the most important one by far i think a double dash mode is well overdue and would finally tie all the gimmicks of every mario kart game together in one besides gp i don't know what the fuck gp has however the time needed to change every single cart from the main game to accommodate for double dash's mechanics is gonna take a long time so maybe some vehicles won't be available in this mode just a few that they could get through but the customization stuff for the vehicles should definitely come back for this that's a that's a need bringing in the vehicle customization features from the main game will heighten the double dash experience because now players will need to curate like their own carts it's not just dependent on wario's weight now you got wario's weight to, to look at while luigi's weight to look at now that you got the cars and everything you gotta you gotta go through this whole thing and there's a lot of strategy and it. it'll be really really cool and just like the main mode of the game double dash should be an all-encompassing mode bringing in time trials online fucking battle mode and speaking of battle mode, I think it's also in need of a bit more love. I mean, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe did a lot of justice. did a lot of work where it needed it. Good for him. But this game also needs to fucking pull its weight. I think making 8 to 12 entirely new tracks for battle mode is kind of like the, the basic start. Bring in 8 to 12 new tracks. And then on top of that, bring in the all of the mo battle modes from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Renegade Roundup shine thief balloon battle coin battle and maybe add in like one or two new modes in there just to make sure that we're adding something new that you can't get from the base mario kart 8 deluxe experience and i think that covers it of course there's a smaller stuff like online majorly being the same the option for 4k 60 and probably another dlc pass with like one two three waves that add some crossovers maybe something we haven't seen before kirby Maybe more of Zero, bring in Captain Falcon as an actual character and not just and me. Bring, bring Link back, maybe, you know. Give us some fun shit to do. But I think we've covered our major bases for what the next Mario Kart will look like. Whether that be Mario Kart X or Mario Kart 9. And hopefully, when it comes out, it'll be something that we can all love and appreciate and play. The same way that we did with Mario Kart 8 and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the last entire decade. I really hope it is. And with that, the video is over! Leave!